<sighs> Welcome back. So, <laughs> oh, there goes some of the oil, isn't there? If you remember, we had these little feet that I put on here. And these are definitely not the right ones that I needed for this. First of all, due to how the leveling was on this side, I wasn't able to actually get the machine leveled with the small range that these have on them. Second of all, these are actually a half inch 13, I think, thread. And the hole on the inside here is actually 5 eighths 11. <laughs> so, Time for the right feet for this. These ones have the actual correct thread. But also, as you can see, a much larger uh, adjustment range. Now, the holes on this are really terrible condition. It definitely spent at least two, maybe three different moves sitting in dirt and gravel. And so these things are really rusty. They're really, uh, really messed up. So what I've done is this, I don't actually have a tap and I don't want to destroy a tap on this. So I have taken 5 8 11 bolt and I've cut into it. That'll allow me stick it up into the threads on this, chase those threads out, and get that nice and clean in there. And then I'll be able to get the leg up into it. You also see I'm gonna have to raise this up a little bit farther to get that into there. That's no problem. I went and got my actual uh, two-ton jack and that should more than cover the range that this machine needs. All right. Now, this is of course pretty dirty and not a very good view sort of job. I don't really know how much you're going to be able to kind of tell what's going on here. I think you have a view up into the top of that. Maybe I got to adjust this just a little bit. You'll see when that bolt comes through. But yeah, I'll uh, get one of these done, and after that, get the rest of them off camera. But yeah, I was looking at it, and I realized I definitely want to have bolts that are going to hold in more securely on this than what these half-inch bolts were doing, especially after I noticed one of them starting to have a slight angle out on it just from that little bit of adjustment as well. They have those small rubber pad, pads that I thought would be worth having on the bottom of the feet. And you can see that really quickly they're starting to get uh, shoved off to the side, not centered anymore. And definitely not something really that's good and secure for what I would want on the machine there. So, with that in mind, I decided I definitely needed to get the better size for that. Something that's a little more apt for the weight that this machine needs to carry. And that's bottom out in there. I think you might be able to... Oh, you can't really see much anyway there. Let's uh, throw a little bit of mm. uh, spray that down a little bit. Yeah, you can uh, only just barely see the top of the bolt coming out there. It helps if I don't stand in the camera range view. So yeah, I gotta get that, chase 
the threads on all these holes, wash out as much of the dirt and grime as I can get, and then bring it up a little bit more so I can thread those new feet onto this machine. And it should be in a much better state after that regarding uh, being able to make sure this thing's leveled out. Okay. Now, this may not be a surprise to some, but something I wasn't actually anticipating is there are six Sorry, not six. There are 12 holes in various locations on the bottom of this leg. And actually each foot has two. That is, of course, because there are two holes dedicated specifically for a leveling feet. So they're threaded holes. Then on the other end, there are also two holes that are just through holes 5 8 inch for tie downs. <clears throat> now I've ended up using the, uh, for all the feet, I ended up using the threaded holes to put these ma the previous machine feet into. And that, of course, means that for all of the other ones, I need to lift the machine up, remove the previous foot, and then clean out the threaded holes. So I have a little bit of work there that needs to go into getting all of these leveled out. For this, for these legs here, I'm thinking I'm just going to get it flush with the top of the surface here and leave it at that because I know this side is much lower and the other ones I'm going to start with it nearly bottomed out. I have a lot of more adjustment range on these though and so should be able to easily enough get this properly leveled once all of these are done and yeah I probably should have a washer in here but that should be fine. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing that's going to come to that uh, I didn't originally anticipate. I uh, don't have actually any reference for that level. I have a nice level for determining it, but uh, it's all going to be just relatively level because I have no way of calibrating it. One uh, quick aside here. These middle legs, I didn't really have any way to lift it up from the middle. And considering how big the bolts are on these, I needed to get the feet under them. However, if you look at one of these feet, and it's a little bit too tall. And you can't really thread that in there at an angle. And if you want to take a quick look over here, I am as high as I can go on that. So I've put some blocks under there just, you know, as a uh, in case to kind of keep that from going too far in case it falls down. And what I've done, for the moment I've popped the feet off the bottom of these. They can easily come in and out. And that gives me just enough room to fit under here. I should be able to start that bolt. But, uh, man, lifting these things up that far is a little bit of a pain. Luckily, I should only have to do that once. All right, final update for today's episode. A little bit of a surprise. I got it loose. It was not easy. What I ended up doing is taking a heat gun and blasting on that while I slowly rotated around until finally 
it warmed up enough that it was able to break loose but uh yeah it's still not very easy and still a bit of a heavy object here but there we go make sure that's not gonna run off on me and that's our spindle removed yeah i'm gonna have to check what's up see if this uh surface here is at all rusty or anything and maybe that's why but there we go spindle removed lathe is on much better feet now and should be able to be a lot more secure and well there's a good reason now why I wanted to take this uh, spindle out put it back together and I was listening while I was moving it around and once I got it up to a certain speed while the rollers all seem like they're really good yeah the uh, journal that this ride on, rides on has pretty nasty divot in it and I could hear it when I started uh, just just by hand getting this up to speed so I definitely wanted to get this out so I could get this piece replaced because I just didn't want to do all this work and have some bad bad bearings on the uh, on the spindle itself. I also feel like it would have been a little bit incomplete with my project of modeling the entire thing if I hadn't actually gotten the whole thing apart and been able to model everything. So there we go and I guess that's a uh, Really final surprise for that episode and really a actual full disassembly for this thing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.